Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Storyville from the Ellen Villa Hair Power Collection. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Today I'm wearing Storyville from the Hair Power Collection with Ellen Villa in Sandy Blonde Rooted. And I wanna come in here and let you all see this lace front on this wig, look at that. I'm gonna actually pull this back with a clip so you all can take a look at this lace. I absolutely love the way, and I've got a wig hair right here that's gone rogue on me and I can't find it, there it is. I want y'all to look at that lace. Look at how pretty that is. You could certainly wear this pulled back from your head. Isn't that gorgeous? And the hair fiber in this is just really pretty. Look how pretty this color is. This is sandy blonde rooted. And I think, <laughs> I don't know if this wig is gonna leave my house. I actually bought this wig to sell, but I love Storyville. I had not seen Storyville in person. I had just looked at her online and I was like, oh my word, I love that wig. Look at those curls, aren't they gorgeous? And I've got to say, now that I've seen her in person, I am not one bit disappointed in this wig. So let me flip around, let me let y'all see her from all sides. I'm gonna to try to not go rogue on you with this, but I do have Trixie sitting with me and she has a tendency to get me off kilter just by her weight in the back of this, in the back of the seat of this thing. But look at this, look at the fibers on this. She has a lace front, no mono part, but you could certainly wear her back if you wanted to. Now, what I would probably do with her is I would get a little bit of this hair and I would just kind of do something like this with her with the clip if I wanted to to wear her back and I would just wear it and rock it right like that I think that's gorgeous she is a gorgeous wig look at that look at those curls let me get in here close so y'all can see that she's just simply beautiful her fibers are really soft she's not extremely heavy now she is a lot of hair but she's not, uh, she doesn't appear to be, so far, she doesn't appear to, you know, I'm not hot, I don't feel sweaty, I don't feel anything. Of course, she's got the open weft basic wig cap. So let's look at her specs and let's see how she's doing. Storyville, here we come. Okay, now here's what she looks like on the website. There she is, sexy little beast that she is. I've got to say, I kind of feel like a hot little number in this blonde wig. I actually do. I feel like maybe I need to go boot scooting or something. So, Storyville is shown on the website in medium brown, no, I'm sorry, hot mocha rooted, which is a medium brown, light brown, and light auburn blend. Now, I am wearing her in sandy blonde rooted, which is actually a medium honey blonde, light ash blonde, and lightest reddish brown blend with dark roots. And you can see those roots. And I'm gonna get in here again, let you look at that lace front, look at that. That's just simply gorgeous. That is beautiful. Okay, so here are her specs. If I can keep from getting distracted, I'll give you the specs. She is 3.2 ounces. Cap size is petite average. She fits me just fine. I don't know, I would probably wear a wig grip with her just because I usually do because I'm paranoid about the wig falling off my head. I don't have any kind of occipital bone much. So I usually wear a grip underneath mine unless it's in the summer and it's just simply too hot. But um, I don't necessarily have to if I don't want to with this particular wig. Um, she is a laced front. She has a wefted cap, synthetic hair, her bangs are eight, eight inches, her crown is 10 inches, sides eight inches, nape is seven inches. Now, her nape is a bit of an extended nape, and she's beautiful. She is a beautiful wig, and like my other Ellen Villa wigs, she is for sale. So, let me put, let me grab this little thing and just stick it on here and see what that looks like with her. So you could certainly wear a headband with her and she's just cute. You could pull her back if you wanted to. Now, I normally don't 
I usually keep some hair right around here because of my glasses. And my glasses make, sometimes make my wigs lift away from my head. So I would probably just stick it like right there, have a little bit of hair here, pull this forward, and voila. You've got a cute little sexy blonde number and you are ready to go. Now, let me turn around again, let y'all see this wig from all sides again. Hang on, here we go. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, I'm just riding right off from here. But here she is. Now, what I normally do with my curly wigs that are, that are curly, like have these beachy type curls like this, I normally, do not um, comb my wigs. with Even with my wide tooth comb, I don't. I use my fingers and just kind of comb them with my fingers if I need to. But you could also pull her back if you wanted to kind of pull her back in a little pony, a little low pony back here, you could do that. And pull some hair forward right here because she's layered. So you could pull some hair forward right here and do a little low pony here in the back, or even do like a little bit of an updo. Or you could even do a little slight ponytail if you wanted to do like a ponytail like right, right here. So I am, you know what I think she would look good with? I believe this wig would look gorgeous with the cowboy hat. I just do. I think for, for me to look at Storyville and for me being Southern, this hair just screams denim jacket, cowboy boots, and a, and a skirt to the knees or a sundress to the knees. I don't know. It just kind of screams that, and that's probably what I would wear her with. So... I hope you all have enjoyed my review of this sexy little blonde number. Boy, I sure have had a, a ball with her, and this wig may never leave my house. Um, I may keep this wig because she is just that cute, but I did buy this wig for, to sell, so if you are interested in Storyville, let me know, and I will drop down in the description box a way for you guys to get in touch with me if you're interested in purchasing this wig. So, here she is. Let me flip around one more time and let y'all see her. Goodness me, I love this wig. One more look, close in. And there we go. Listen, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Maranatha folks, love you guys.